three or four level. Hello, one, two, three, testing the microphone. Can you hear me? I have problems. Good evening, Good evening. teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Okay, I couldn't you? just make up because I'm blind. Just in case. Okay, can you say something now, please? Oh, uh, yeah, we can hear you. Mm, wait up, wait up. One, two, three. Okay, I think there's the same issue that happened yesterday that I, I my microphone works, but yours, uh, I mean, I cannot hear you. That's probably what's happening right now again. Um, I think I'm going to get a couple of headphones, a new headphones for tomorrow. Um, okay, so can you say something on the microphone, uh, Edma, or anybody else, please? Hi, teacher, I hear Hi, coach. Okay, continue talking. I'm going to check the cable. Hi, coach. Uh, oh. Hello. Good evening. Okay. One, two, three. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening, Thank coach. you for. Yeah. Okay. I can hear you now. Edwin, Norma. Hello. Jancy. Hello. Okay. Uh, Evelyn. Hello, yeah. teacher. Excellent. Jorge. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Jenny. Are you there? Jenny, Jenny. Brandy. Okay, Brandy is there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my kitty sometimes. <laughs> Your kitty? Yeah, I have to feed them. Oh, okay, okay, got it. But he's fighting in the room. Okay, yeah, cats are special. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never had cats until 2020, 2020. That was the first time that I got a cat. Uh, How was your experience? <laughs> at the beginning, it was complicated. It was terrible. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Uh, did you, how do you say, castrated? I don't know how to pronounce this. Yeah, I had to do that. Uh, there is one technical word for that now. Uh, so yes, I had to do that so that there, are, there were no more cats <laughs> in the house or in the streets. Okay, so uh, welcome, okay, uh, it's a pleasure to be with you again. And this is the session number three, okay? As you might remember, right, uh, in last session, we started what topics? A conjunction, adverbs, and let me see, adjectives. Conjunctions, adjectives, adverbs, adjectives, adjectives. adjectives. Okay. Can you tell me three examples of conjunctions, please? Damn, I forgot. Uh, then? Mm, no. I, no, I couldn't take a note. I forgot the conjunction. You give me an idea. But. However, but however, but, however, and and okay, very good. Be, so, by the way, uh, no, that that would be a, a different part of a sentence. Uh -huh. That is a um, introductory phrase, or um, they also call them. Um, let me check introductory phrases or. Linking words, linking words as well, but uh, they have a similar function, but not it's not it's not exactly the same. I'm going to uh, share with you a little bit about uh, conjunctions for you to remember. A little uh, son, I need you to remember fan boys, fan boys, and you are like, what is fan boys? The fan boys is a is an acronym acronym of some of the most common uh, 
hold on. <laughs> um, okay, some of the most common, um, the one that I was telling you about. So he's big now. <laughs> and yeah. Um, most common conjunctions, I would say. So I will say, so I will write the chat. Bam, boys. Uh, uh, wait a second. Let's check my speaker. Okay, continue. So if you have, if you cannot hear me well, let me know, please, so that I can check the microphone. Uh, so for example, the letter I will write in, write this, like this on the chat, fanboys. The fanboys are, uh, it's an acronym for the, some of the most common um, conjunctions. The F stands for the conjunction for A equals and then we have the letter N that is nor then the letter B stands for but then um, but then we have the letter O that stands for or and then we have Y that means yet and the last one the letter s is so so those are uh the famous fanboys it's like the backstreet boys but in this case it's conjunctions right so we have the fanboys um and uh, for example when you say this present is for you so for is a connector right now that's for you to remember, right? When you don't remember conjunctions, remember the fanboys, right? Um, now, can you please tell me uh, five examples of adjectives? Pretty. Pretty. Tall. Okay, tall. Fast. Yes. Big, slow, short. Big, slow, short. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Now, um, think about yourself. Think about yourself right now. Your personality, your personality. If you had to describe yourself, if you had to describe yourself in three words, three words that are affirmative, and one word, the one, one adjective, three adjectives that are affirmative and one adjective that maybe is not so good, right? Because we, you know that we have some aspects that we have to improve, right? For example, um, three things that, about me that are good, let's say, I am friendly, I am uh, empathetic, I am empathetic, and I am uh, responsible three good things, okay, about my personality. Something that is not so good, for example, is that um, I can be a little desperate, a little desperate in some situations, okay? So that's not something so good, let's say. Sometimes I get anxious, right? I get anxious or a little impatient, right? Um, so, in the chat, please, you can write down three adjectives that describe you and your personality. And if you want to add an extra one that is not so good, for example, you can be like, I'm a little lazy or a little, uh, I don't know, uh, angry, right? Or too talkative, like too talkative. You can say like, yeah, hablo okay. mucho. Okay. Excellent, Jose Luis. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, if you want to open the microphone, you can do it. If you want to write it in the chat, no. do it. Perfect. Okay. In my good. case, I prefer talk because I'm not faster. <laughs> okay. <Maybe>. So, <laughs> so what what would be some characteristics about your personality, uh, Brandy? Um, I have to say that I'm beautiful. Well, I'm smart. Cool. Smart. Um, 
uh, I love to rescue. How do you say like uh, but, but, I don't know when you rescue some animals that? you can be um, I don't know, maybe you are um, what would be the word? Uh, uh, friendly could be friendly with the animals. Friendly with animals. Okay, then Oscar wrote in the chat that he is a little angry because Barcelona doesn't win. Okay. Um, yes, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Leslie says, funny, creative, intelligent. Okay, nice. We have a lot of different characteristics in our personality. So, yes, please, a little angry. Okay. Uh, I'm shy. I'm shy. shy. Uh -huh. Shy can be a little negative, right? Ser tímido, but can you believe? Pues, can mm, you believe? That, I'm not so sure about that, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Leslie, Oscar, Jose, Brandy. The rest, please, write in the chat or activate your microphone and share with us three adjectives about your personality that you consider are good about you. Okay. So, for example, you can say that you are loving, amoroso, right? Uh, that you are uh, generous, that you are patient, that you are um, I'm patient. Say, responsible, respectful. Uh, what else? Many, many other characteristics that are positive. Teacher. Okay, Love Melvin, you. raise a hand and then Jenny and then Melvin. Uh -huh. Jenny? How uh, can I say that Tengo paciencia con los niños. Patient. I am patient, patient with kids or with children. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, good question. Okay, Jenny. Uh, next volunteer is Melvin. Hi, good evening, teacher. Um, good evening. Uh, maybe I, if I am responsible. A happy, a happy, a happy, happy person. Happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, friendly, maybe. Friendly. Okay. Yes. And sometimes I'm, I'm a little angry too. Or <laughs> depends, depends on the situation. Yeah. And the person, right? And the person. Yes, yeah. and the person too. Yeah. Uh, then Giselle says that she's smart, friendly, and a little angry. Okay. Uh, maybe you can say that you are jealous, right? A little jealous. Ser celoso, o un poquito celoso podría ser algo no tan positivo. Okay. What's the meaning that nobody jealous? Okay, I know, I have a lot of friends, a lot of friends that are a little jealous. Okay, you, Jorge Alberto says... Are you says, jealous? Just a little jealous, man. It's a little jealous, yes. When there is a justified reason, yes. Uh, polite friendly and very responsible. Okay, Alberto, thank you. Um, okay, excellent. So nobody else, remember that you can use the chat. Uh, that's something that we're going to be using in class. Okay, as we have the little uh, inconvenience, let's say with the breakout rooms, uh, what we're going to use is the chat so that you can uh, express your ideas. <laughs> A little toxic. Nah, don't say that yourself. Uh, <laughs> Um, maybe you are a little jealous, right? Okay. Uh, for example, if you want to say like, teacher, how can I say, soy un poquito mandona o mandón, right? Uh, you can say, bussy, bussy, bussy. Uh, okay, Norma says that she's kind, respectful, and generous. Okay, excellent. Uh, Okay, then we continue with the next one. So that was the activity to break the ice. Okay, Evelyn says that she's friendly, responsible, sincere, funny, and sociable. She's sociable. If you want to say sociable, you say sociable. Excellent, thank you so much for sharing. So now you have an idea about the personality about, of your classmates. Okay, so you mentioned three examples of conjunctions, five examples or more examples than about adjectives. Can you please tell me three examples about adverbs? Adverbs. Try to remember. It's something necessary, right? You have to check 
the class, study the class, study the, the book, the manual. Um, so can you please tell me three adverbs that we studied yesterday? Uh, really? I have one. Uh, okay. Uh, adverbs, adverbs, adverbs. Those adverbs. Mm -hmm. The really sound very pretty. Um, I was yesterday, teacher. No. Yeah, we studied pretty. Uh, we studied uh, very, very extremely nice. No, nice is not no, an no, adverb. No. No. Nice Somewhat, is not many. Somewhat. Somewhat. Many, so, very good, many. Okay, excellent. And I am going to tell you- Quickly and slowly? Yeah, um, that's what I was going to tell you, that most of the time to recognize or to identify an adverb, you have to see that they, they have the, the last two letters, L-Y, L-Y. For example, uh, let's say you say, well, in the chat, they wrote, Brandy wrote quickly, slowly. So what we do with the, ad, with the adverbs is that we transform the adjective to an adverb. For example, I say the word, um, let me see, I will write it here. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pretty is an adverb and adjective. Yeah, it can be the two. It can be the two. Mm -hmm. That's a good question, Leslie. In this case, so, uh, quickly, slowly uh, can be uh, objectives, maybe. Yes, quickly, slowly, carefully, as Brandy said. For example, when you say the word basic, basic, right? Basic is an adjective. Yeah. But if you say basically, basically, okay, it becomes an adverb. If you say normal, that's an adjective. But if you change it and you transform it to normally, that is an adverb, okay? Uh, if you say beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful. It's an adjective. If you add an extra L in the letter Y. Beautifully. No. Beautifully, mm -hmm. correct. Beautifully. So, beautifully. So for example, you can say. Uh, um, How to play that? Hermosamente, hermosamente. That would be hermosamente, bellamente. For example, uh, my mother, let's say, okay? She's a very good dancer. She dance, she dances beautifully. By, baila hermosamente, okay? Estoy describiendo la forma en la que ella baila. Okay, okay. I, I can say uh, my mom's uh, dancing uh, beautifully. Beautifully, okay? How do okay. you say, for example, Eh, mi mamá o mi abuela o yo cocino deliciosamente. My mom cook deliciously. Cook, deliciously. Cooking. Cooks. Um, I don't know. Deliciously. Deliciously. <laughs> deliciously. Mm -hmm. En la forma en que cocina, right? Now, the food is delicious because she cooks deliciously, right? My, um, my cook. My cooks. Ah, oh, my, my mom, my mom, my mom. Uh, focus? No. <laughs> my mom cooks deliciously. My mom cooks deliciously. Okay, and um, for example, Sorry, carefully. Uh, Hello? Yes, uh, this, uh, this example I will, will be saying. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, my friend is carefully with her, uh, with his, his car. My is friend carefully? is careful. No, my, my friend is careful. It's very careful. careful. My friend is careful. But for example, you can say, bless you. How do you say, yo manejo cuidadosamente? 
I drive carefully. I drive carefully. I drive, I drive carefully. Excellent. You see, that is the way that you use the adverbs. Okay. Um, so I drive carefully. Um, now, that's another way that we normally see the adverbs. Okay. Una forma de identificar los adverbios. Que los sure. adjetivos, al agregarles L, Y, se convierten en adverbios. No todos, hay excepciones. For example, fast. Fast is an adjective. And fast is also an adverb. There is no modification like fast, fastly. No, fast. Eh, tiene ambas funciones. Pretty, pretty. Tiene ambas funciones. So, um, always. teacher. Uh, always is an adverb of frequency. Mm -hmm. Adverb is frequency. Always. So, uh, something I have to know is that adverbs have different classifications. Okay. In Spanish, you study that. Adverb de tiempo, de lugar, de cantidad, etc., etc. In English, it's the same. We have adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of quantity, adverbs of manner, and so on. For example, uh, the example uh, Melvin mentioned always. Always is an adverb of frequency. I take a, I always take a shower in the morning. I never smoke. I sometimes visit my friends in La Union. Um, I usually, I usually practice English uh, on the weekends. Uh, I hardly, I hardly ever, I hardly ever, casi nunca, I hardly ever uh, drink beers. Okay, I hardly ever drink beers. Um, what else? Then hardly ever, always, usually, often, often, right? A menudo. I often uh, chat with my friends and family. I often chat with my friends and family. So those are examples of adverbs of frequency. So it is some, it's important because it's part of the language, right? Now we're going to continue with the next uh, topic, okay? To review what we were doing yesterday. Um, so yesterday we had the opportunity to practice with the roulette, with the wheel, right? To know more information about you. And we also had the possibility to study the, the way that we can combine. Okay, we can combine. Uh, wait a second, I'm going to see. Can you see the presentation right now? No. No yet, right? No yet. It's loading. Okay, it's okay. loading. Stack our gando. Okay, so it's loading. Um, so that's the reason why I tell you, right? It is important that you study, that you take a little moment every day to, to review, to read, to watch a video, for example. Uh, so ready. It, ready, okay, perfect. So we have the roulette, okay, about different questions and we practice the grammar. We did the exercise and we studied adverbs. Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat, somewhat, okay. Um, for example, who is um, a singer, a Salvadorian singer that is really famous, really famous, a Salvadorian singer who is really famous? Don't say King Flip, please. <laughs> Alvaro Torres. Alvaro Torres, very good, he's very famous. The woman uh, who sings La Loba. No idea. <laughs> Julissa Ventura. Ah, Julissa uh, Ventura. Okay, now, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> now that TikTok, TikTok is popular, right? Can you tell That's me one, one, one TikToker that is, um, is pretty, pretty popular in the present? Natamalera. With Tito Sabe. Okay, okay. Uh, a YouTuber, a YouTuber, a Salvadoran YouTuber who is uh, famous, very popular. Carlos Love. 
Mm -hmm. I'm testing, okay, if you know what's happening in social networks. Any idea? No? I don't watch it. Salvadorian. Okay. A YouTuber, a Salvadorian YouTuber that is very famous now uh, is uh, Tio Frank, for example. Okay. El gordito. Uh, now, we continue. Okay. And the last one is, what is a Salvadorian dish or food that is extremely recognized Pupusa. in the world? Chicharrones, teacher. Salvadorian food, Salvadorian dish. I don't know, beans and pupusas. Is... That is? Pupusas, right? Yes, okay. Now, we finished with this exercise yesterday, okay? Uh, let's see if you remember. Let's number one, uh, Edma. Can you please read number one? Uh, number one, but the complete sentence, please. Um, let me see. It's gonna be teacher. is very nice. Everyone and. and, and Everyone. Everyone is extremely friendly. Correct. So I will I will write the sentence here. In. I pay. Uh huh. Is really nice. Comma. And everyone is really friendly. Okay. So we finish the sentence. That's example. See, we have the sentence here. Taipei is really nice. It's very nice, sorry. Um, and everyone is extremely friendly. That was the correct answer. Now, let's continue with the next one. Um, Evelyn, can you please tell, tell us number two, the complete sentence? Um, the streets are crowding is as the is Easy to get around um, is a uh, end. Uh, no. Oh. The correct a answer troll. was though, though. Um, okay. Eh, no, the ¿cómo se are though, 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 yes, though. So um, that would be a correct answer. Number three, let's continue with uh, Jose Luis. Mm -hmm. uh, the weather is nice. And however, summers get pretty hot. Yes, however, summers get pretty hot. Correct. Number four, uh, Norma. Shopping is great, uh, but you have a bargain in the market. But you have to bargain in the markets. Okay, correct. Uh, bargain, remember that is regatear, right? When you negotiate the price. Okay, this is $5. Okay, uh, if you want to sell it to me, like really want to sell it to me, could you give it to me in $3? No, I'm sorry. Four is the minimum. And they're like, uh, what about 350? Okay, so you negotiate, right? The price, you bargain the price. Uh, Leslie, number five, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, the food is delicious and it is not expensive. Correct. Okay, and it's not exp too expensive. Uh, <laughs> number six, Isaura. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Freddie. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. See, Hello. I um, um, no, no pay attention. Okay, number six. You just have to read the sentence and select the, the complement, and or however. Number six. It's an amazing city. 
And I love. And I love to go there. there. Excellent, very good. So uh, right now I need you to do the exercise C. This is to practice a little of writing, okay? In your notebook. So uh, because of time, only complete one. The other two, you complete them when we finish the class, right? Or tomorrow, uh, it's homework. The indication is describe three cities or town in El Salvador. Mention two positive and one negative characteristic or feature for each. For example, Lima is very exciting and there are a lot of things to do, but it's cold. I can say my example, I will select um, Santa Rosa de Lima. It's very interesting because you can do a lot of shopping there and uh, the people are nice. However, however, it's very hot and they don't have a lot of green areas. They don't have a lot of green areas in Santa Rosa. An example, right? So that's what you're going to do right now, okay? Describe one city. If you want the city where you live, okay? Describe it with two positive and one negative characteristic, okay? Using adverbs, okay? Adverbs and adjectives. Okay, so I will give you two minutes, okay, for you to write down some ideas about one city in El Salvador, okay, or one town, right? And a sim similar to the, extra, to the example, right? Letter A, Lima is very exciting and there are a lot of things to do, okay? Two positive and one negative characteristic. So you have two minutes, maximum three, to write one description of one city. Questions? Questions about the activity? No? Okay, yeah. perfect. Como no puedo describir que dice, eh, por ejemplo, yo vivo en Soyapango y le quiero poner que es una linda ciudad, pero eh, es muy poblada. Okay. Uh, poblada is crowded. Crowded. I will write it in the chat, okay? Crowded. Crowded. So you can say? Yes. But it is very crowded. But it is very crowded. Okay, so your time begins now. Okay, when you finish, you can activate your microphone and, and you read your example to the class, okay? If you can use a microphone, just write your example in the chat. The important thing is that we communicate, that we practice. That's the most important thing. Finish. Okay, Brandy. Okay. Tell us. And then in my I'll... case, I born in Awichapan, so okay. it's a, a small 
apartment and uh, has a very friendly people and something good is that uh, you can you can uh cut different kind of coffee nice i watch a pan you said right yeah that's right okay and something bad is that uh, they uh does not have cinemas and okay. Yeah, doesn't have like a shopping center, like a metro center, or gallery, yet. Ah, and okay. even doesn't even doesn't have like a, a, a this fat food, food. So you can say Aguachapan is beautiful, and they and it has delicious coffee. Uh, to give an, an example, right? Delicious coffee. However, it isn't very modern. Okay, that would be an example. I watch Japan is beautiful and it has delicious coffee. However, yeah. that, is, but, that is a contrast. It yeah. isn't very modern. Mm -hmm. No es muy moderno. Yeah, by okay. the way, they don't have like. A like here in San Salvador, you can buy you know different kind of food. Mm -hmm. uh, True. I, what I love about Japan is that they have termales de, de Santa Teresa. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Yes. Okay, Melvin, you are next. Thank you for sharing, Brandy. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, Tipital is a beautiful place and I have a lot of vegetation. Uh, Penny Street, for example, but it's very, but it's very cold in winter. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not good, right? For the majority of people, very cold is not good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excellent. Congratulations. Okay. Some reactions. Don't forget to use the reactions for your classmates. So you can use the claps. You can use the the heart. You can use your or thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, pulgares arriba. Um, or you can even use the happy face or any other emoji that you like, okay? For example, um, I like this emoji. So I use that one, okay? Now let's continue with the next volunteer. Uh, next volunteer, Jenny. I ah, see Leslie. the same like you. Okay, Jenny and then Leslie, okay. <laughs> Jenny, please. What is your example? Um, I know what happened with Jenny. We lost connection. Okay, so we're going to continue with Leslie. Okay, teacher. Concepcion de Taco is beautiful and has a cool climate, but mm. it's very small and very pop populate, como poblado? Populated, populated. populated. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, excellent. Yes, I agree with you, okay, reactions. And I will use a heart because I love a taco. Okay, uh, next. Jorge, uh, okay. go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll tell you from of my city. Um, Berlin is a beautiful city, but people are somewhat vain. Uh, however, they serve delicious coffee. Berlin, you said? Yeah. Okay, amazing. Okay, reactions okay. for him? And also heart because Berlin is my favorite uh, place in the eastern region. The Oriente is my lugar favorito. Berlin. Seriously? Because yes. Why? Because of coffee. Because yeah. it's relaxed. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's, it, not, there, it's quiet. It's not, it, it's not crowded. Uh -huh. It's not a lot of people. Like in Alegría, right? It's always a lot of people, so it's I don't mm. like it too much. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the Cuajada or the Oriente. <laughs> the Guajara is good here, yeah. Dairy products. If you With want to say lactose, <laughs> if you want to say lactose, you say dairy products. Okay, dairy yeah. products. As you say, it's a lactose. 
Okay, uh, Oscar says that Tecoluca is a beautiful city with warm climate. Actually, the, the next April 3rd is the Marañón's Festival. Really? Okay, that's great. So it's in Tecoluca, okay? So the Marañón is cashew, cashew. Okay, then we continue. Thank you so much. Reactions for uh, Oscar as well. That was a really good description and good information, right? <laughs> uh, about the festival that is coming soon. Now we continue with the next volunteer. Uh, I don't know, Evelyn. Oh, sí, yes. Yes. Uh, the Libertad is very beautiful with beach, uh, with very uh, seafood, delicious. Okay. Algo negativo? Something negative? <laughs> uh, the, uh, the La Libertad is very uh, traffic in the weekend. Ah. In the weekend is um, um, crowded, crowded uh -huh. and much people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is a lot of traffic and a lot of people. The a weekend. Lot of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people on the weekend. Okay. No, on the, the weekend. weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So that, is, that would be an example in the chat. Okay, the reactions for Evelyn. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, I love yeah. when you share, okay, that you practice mm -hmm. and you participate. Nuya, you're next. The, the beach in El Zapote Sonsonate is uh -huh. beautiful. The sunset is very nice. But the trip is too tiring. Es muy lejos. No sé si ah, lo dije correctamente. Uh, the trip. Trip. Okay. okay. The trip to get there is tiring. Es agotador. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful. I'm writing the, the example so you have the idea how to connect, right? The, the vocabulary. Uh, the El Zapote Beach is beautiful with a nice sunset. But the trip to get there is tiring. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Imagine from Samuel to El Zapote, that would be complicated. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the next one. Another volunteer in the chat or in, using the microphone? I don't know, Edma, maybe, or Norma? Hi, teacher. Okay, who is the next volunteer? Jenny. Yeah, Jenny. Uh, Soya Pango is an <laughs> industrial city. The people is friendly but it's very nice all day, all night. <laughs> uh, but it's noisy. It's very noisy, okay. Uh, I will say, if you want to say all day, all night, you can say 24 seven. 24 seven, always. <laughs> 24 seven. Okay, but it's noisy 24 seven. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Reactions for her, I'll give you, Thumbs up. Where is the thumb? Thumbs up. Okay. Good. And now we continue with uh, no more volunteers. I don't know. It's raining in Ciudad Delgado now. Mm -hmm. Evelyn. Okay. Hopefully you don't lose the. You won't lose the connection. <laughs> Hopefully you won't lose the internet connection. Okay. So if you have, if you want to participate, you can do it in the chat or you can activate your microphone. Right now we're going to continue because of time. So please remember your homework to complete two more descriptions of two more cities, okay? Two more cities. So you can do that in, in, in your notebook. And tomorrow we have a little moment to share. Um, now let's continue with the next one. Um, I'm going to eliminate this and move on. Okay, so 
Here we have another exercise. In this one, what we have is a little description, right, for writing. Uh, and the activity is an a, a magazine article, right? About an, a place that is amazing, beautiful, interesting. Um, for example, think of an interesting place for tourists to visit in El Salvador and write a short article. So um, what we can do here, okay? So you don't have to think too much. You can investigate the place that I will tell you. And, and tomorrow in the, in the chat, for example, uh, you can share with us the, well, actually we can do that in WhatsApp, you know? Uh, maybe you can write the description or the little uh, article, un pequeño artículo, un parrafito, sobre, sobre un lugar turístico El Salvador para que la gente lo visite, okay? Dando información. For example, East meets West. Istanbul is a very interesting city in Western Turkey. It's special for several reasons. First, it has some wonderful mosques. Uh, the Blue Mosque is extremely beautiful and no visitor should miss it. Allow plenty of time to visit this very amazing place. Second, the city has a lot of blah, 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 blah. So what we're going to do here is to have a specific place for each of you. So I'm going to start with Edma. Uh, wait, now the first one is Giselle. So Giselle, you will write a little paragraph with information about El Pital, okay? El Pital. Nubia, you go with El Tunco. Jenny, you will have a Alegría, Alegría. Evelyn, Ataco, okay, Ataco. Melvin, you go, you will go with Kukovic, okay. Well, write down the name, right? Because I can forget. <laughs> uh, Edma, you go with Perkin. Yes, Brandy, I'll give you Suchitoto. Sylvia, you will have the. Um, Place. Uh, Cerro Verde in Santa Ana. Jose Luis, I will give you uh, Mirador Espíritu de la Montaña in, Concha, in Conchagua. So the two places, right? Conchagua uh, and the Mirador, right? Uh, then we have Norma. I will give you the, let me see, one attraction. Um, I think I will go with uh, Los Chorros. That would be a, a nice place. Then uh, for Norma, right? The next volunteer is Jancy. For Jancy, the place that you will have to write about is, mm, let me see. I'll go to Morazan in Arambala. Arambala. Edwin. I will give you one place in Aguachapan, that would be Termale de Santa Teresa, the one that I mentioned before. Jorge, I will give you uh, what is the name of this place? There are some waterfalls. Volcano. A, a Pastepeque, a Pastepeque. La Laguna. A Pastepeque, okay, yeah. Uh, Leslie, you will go with the Santa Ana Volcano. Okay. Okay, then Nelson, you will go with El Boquerón. Oscar, I will give you, let me check one place that I'm forgetting. Ah, yes, uh, Tazumal. Then uh, Isaura, I will give you, let me see. One place that I'm forgetting, one place that I'm forgetting. Tourist destination in El Salvador. Yeah, already, Apanega, blah, 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 blah. Um, in San Diego. No, that would be too easy. Let's go with San Vicente. 
I have no idea what we can do in San Vicente, but there are some. I places. like San Vicente. <laughs> okay, San Vicente. Okay. And Jesus, I will give you, let me see what place I'm forgetting. We already have East, Central, and we have the West. So I'll give you one that is in the middle. So we'll go with uh, El Imposible. That would be the forest. El Imposible or Monte Cristo. Any of those two, okay? For Jesus. Okay. Now, you select, right? Monte Cristo or uh, El Imposible. Um, so everybody has one place, okay? So one paragraph with information about tourist information about the place, right? How much, the distance, the activities that you can do in that place. And um, if possible, if possible, right? Uh, you can share some extra information uh, about, about that place. A little bit of history, right? Un poquito de historia del lugar. Um, and some places that people can visit in that, in that place, uh, in that specific tourist destination. Now, that's for you to investigate a little bit. You can do it in your cell phone, in your notebook, in the computer, whatever you want. And we share that information tomorrow. Now, let's continue. Uh, there are some five popular cities and some sites and events there. We have five. Number one is Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Tokyo, Japan, Los Angeles, California, Paris in France, and Seoul in Korea. In the chat, please write, if you had the opportunity to visit one of these five places, which one would you like to visit and why? Which place would you like to visit from the five options and why? Select one. For example, I will select, uh, it's difficult. I will go with the Tour de France in Paris because I would like to visit the museums and the famous landmarks in Paris. For example, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum, Museum and the Art Arch of the Triumph. I think that's the name, Alcohol Triumph, I think. So that's my selection. So you write it in the chat or my you say on the on the microphone. Japan. Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo, Japan. Why? Right now, teacher? Yes, right now. Oh, okay. Right now. Uh, Brandy says that she would like to visit Hollywood. Why? Why Hollywood? Give me one reason. One reason. Es importante que utilizamos la pregunta uh, why. I select Japan uh -huh. because I like the, the, the culture. The culture. Mm -hmm. The culture. Oh. And, and the place. Uh, eh, eh, no, como puedo decir las las montañas y la eh, eh, o sea la naturaleza que se ve de Japón. Okay, how can I say? How do you say las montañas y la naturaleza? Okay. The mountains, wildness, and the nature or like uh you mentioned right wildlife it's okay also wow. uh, it's general uh-huh wildlife uh, that you can see there okay because of debido a las montañas y naturaleza vida salvaje que se puede ver ahí okay excellent next we have a uh, giselle she said Paris. Why Paris, um, Giselle? Give a reason, give a reason. Because for the take the picture and the Torre Eiffel. And the Eiffel Tower. Yes, the Eiffel Tower is popular. Correct. Okay, so we have one, 
two boats for Paris, one for California, one for Tokyo. Okay. Nobody wants to go to dance to the Rio de Janeiro Carnival. Okay, Melvin. Yes, I would like to visit Rio de Janeiro, but for the beautiful beaches they have, for example, Copacabana. Okay, the they, Copacabana. They, yes, they are already crowded, but you see, you see, it's beautiful. Yeah, and Brazilian people are very happy. Brazilian people yes. are very happy too. And uh, they, they have a lot of um, touristy places. For example, the, I don't know how the, how it's called the uh, Cristo, they have. The, the Redeemer, right? I, I don't yeah, the, the Redeemer. Yes, I don't know what it's called, but yes, they have a lot of beautiful places. And for example, I would like to visit the, el Estadio Maracaná. The Maracaná Stadium, okay. Yes, the Maracaná Stadium. Too. Melvin, thank you, excellent. So you see, uh, that's the idea, right? That you express your, your opinions, your thoughts, your feelings, excellent. Now, uh, then what other places in the world would you like to visit, okay? If you want, just mention the places in the chat. For example, I can mention Barcelona, uh, Switzerland, and I'll go with one more, one more, Australia. Okay, an example, three places, three countries, three cities, okay? Just to give an example, okay? Colombia, okay, yes, nice, because of coffee, yes. Thank you, Nubia, excellent. Um, so I love to read your comments. I love to read your comments. Now we're going to move. Move on. Ah, oh, New York, Jancy. New York is great. Uh, Los Angeles, because of the movies. Uh huh. You can go to Universal Studios. You can go to, I don't know, different places, right? Uh, I would like to know Japan, Mount, Mount mm -hmm. Fuji, Oscar. Yes, that's in a beautiful case, place. Jorge? I will, in my case, I would like to visit Quebec. Quebec, in Canada. Canada. Yeah. Why? Uh, maybe two, three, three or two reasons. The first, uh, I don't know it. And second, um, there lives my my last uh, brother. Ah, yeah, your your brother. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The last one, uh, I would like to know the. Niagara, uh, Cataratas. Niagara Falls. Uh -huh, yeah. Niagara Falls. Okay. Excellent. Niagara Thank Falls. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Yeah. Niagara Falls is, are amazing. Uh, well, Mexico is another place that I would like to visit now that I remember for the food and for the the Aztecs culture, uh, the all the the pyramids and stuff. Now. A conversation. We're going to finish today's class with a conversation. And the conversation is, what should I see there? What should I see there? Okay, listen and repeat, right? Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you, Can you tell, tell me, me a, a little, 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 little about Mexico City? About Mexico City? Sure, I can. Sure, sure I, I can. can. I can. What? what would you like to know? What would you like to know? What would you like to know? Okay, very good. What would, would, right? What, what would, would you like to know? What would you like to know? Well, what's a good well, time to visit? Well, what's well, a good time, time to visit? To visit. To visit. I think you can go anytime. I think, I think you, can you can go, go anytime. 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 The weather is always nice. The weather, the weather, weather is always nice. Always nice. Always nice. Always nice. Oh, good. Oh, oh good. good. And, and what should I see there? 
There. So in this case, what you say is, should I? Should I? Hacemos un sonido la 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 de como una r, como una r. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Correct. Yeah. Very good. Wow. Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum. Well, well you should, you should definitely visit the National, 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 National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Okay. And what else? And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? ¿Qué más, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you shouldn't oh. miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Oh, oh you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Sun. The, sun. The, sun. the Pyramid, okay? Pyramid. 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 Pyramid of the Sun. Right. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. It all sounds really exciting. It all, it all, it all, it all, uh -huh. it all, it all sounds, sounds, it all sounds really exciting, really, really exciting, really exciting, exciting, exciting. exciting. Oh, exciting. So emocionante, right? Uh, exciting. So uh, I will go with uh, two volunteers in this case. Tomorrow we have more volunteers. Okay, so Leslie. Uh, Me, teacher. will Me, be one. one volunteer and Me, teacher. Jorge. Okay, Jorge okay. and Leslie today. Tomorrow we have conversation with more volunteers. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm Thomas. Yeah, you're Thomas and you and uh, okay, Elena. You are I am Elena. Elena. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leslie, no, you're Elena. Correct. Okay, okay. okay. Go. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What what would you like to know? Well, yes. what a good time to visit. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what about I see there? Well, you should definitely, definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, uh, should you show show vent means the yes. pyramid? Pyramid. Oh, I don't know. Pyramid. pyramid of the sun. Pyramid of the sun. Pyramid of the sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay. okay. <laughs> Excellent. Class for them, please. Very good. Thank you, Podemos so, invertir los papeles. <laughs> Because of time? No, right now, no. Okay, okay? Thank you. but tomorrow we're going to practice with more volunteers, okay? Quiero que todos practiquen la conversación. Now, we're going to finish here. As you can see in the pictures, right? They show the Palace of Fine Arts. What is the, tr the translation for this? The Palace of Fine Arts? In Spanish? Oh, the Bellas Artes, okay. And the Pyramid of the Sun is? Pyramid of the Sun. A Pyramid of the Sun, right? También está la de la Luna, creo ya. Now, eh, this is about Mexico, obviously, and uh, we're going to continue here with the next topic tomorrow. And the next topic, okay, my recommendation, okay, sé que probablemente todos se la merecen, no tiene. Tienen mucho, muchos compromisos, pero algo muy útil cuando uno está aprendiendo el idioma y que utiliza algún manual o libro es tratar de, primero, repasar lo que se estudia y segundo, tratar de adelantar un poquito para tener una idea de qué se va a ver en la siguiente clase. Y así no, no voy del todo eh, en cero, ¿verdad? Ya voy, llevo, llevo más o menos la idea de qué vamos a hacer. Um, so, my advice is that you take a look at model verbs can and should, okay? Vamos a estudiar los dos verbos modales, can and should. Uh, Brandy, you have a question? <coughs> yes, I have a question. I'm just watching the, we are just learning here, but we are not learning from the platforms. Mm, okay. 
Uh, well, the platform is mainly for you to study and practice, okay? Uh, so we're working with the manual. We are going to have a time in the, during the week to review, okay, to check the platform. But the platform is mainly for you to work, okay, to work. And if you have doubts, you ask me, right? Like, teacher, can, can you please explain me this exercise or can you give me information about this topic, okay? So that's what we do. But tomorrow, that is the last day of the week, we're going to check the platform, okay? So normally we're going to do that at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So guys, it's, that's all for today. Time passes by really fast. As they say, time flies when you have fun, right? El tiempo vuela cuando te diviertes. So I hope that you had a good time, that you learned something new. And don't forget to investigate about your tourist destination in El Salvador. Okay, if you consider that your destination is not so interesting and you have another that is better, you can change it. Si consideran que su destino no es tan interesante y tienen otro en mente que es más divertido, pueden cambiarlo. Okay, the most important is that you investigate and you practice English. So have a good night, everybody. I will see you uh, tomorrow. Good okay. Good Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, good night too. Good night, good night.